you know what we shall do in this video. Because last time we were sketching parabola whose vertex is at the origin. So this time, we shall sketch a parabola whose vertex can be any point with coordinates h, k. So let us lay down our equation for a parabola with vertex h, k. So if our vertex is h, k and focus is at, look at that, uh, h plus a, k, then our uh, equation is of this form. Axis is horizontal. Look at that. This is your vertex. Your focus, you added A. There is a horizontal movement. Can you see that? There is a horizontal movement in the X coordinate of your point. Horizontal movement. So your axis is horizontal. When A is a positive, your parabola opens to the right. When it is a negative, it opens to the left. Okay, so this is a parabola that will open to the right. This one is a parabola that will open to the left. So pay attention to our vertex. It's no longer just in the origin. So the, the coordinates of our vertex here is 1, 1. How about this one? The coordinates of our vertex here is, okay, the x coordinate negative 1. The y coordinate is 2, or, or you can look, you can get those uh, vertex from here. H here is negative 1, k here is 2. So the other set of equation for your parabola with vertex h, k, and focus at this one is, okay, look at that. From the vertex going to the focus, you added a to the y coordinate. So there's a vertical movement in your point from the vertex. You move up or down. Look at that. That's k plus a. If a is positive, you move up. If a is negative, you move down. Our axis is vertical. When a is positive, the parabola opens up. When it is negative, it opens down. Okay, so your parabola can look something like this. Let us practice naming the coordinates of our vertex. h, k. h is 2. k is negative 1. So that is y minus negative 1. That's why it became y plus 1. k is negative 1. Or you can find or estimate the vertex by reading this point. The coordinates are 2 and negative 1. Now your parabola can open downward. That is when a is less than 0. Okay, so let us sketch the graph of the parabola with vertex a h k. So what's going to happen here is we are given an equation we will sketch the graph. So what should be the direction of our work? We shall locate the vertex. From the vertex to the focus. From the focus to the end points of your lattice rectum. And then boom, we sketch the curve. Again, from the vertex to the focus. From the fo focus to the lattice rectum. And then we trace a parabola through the end points of your lattice rectum. And then through the vertex. Let us see, let us see here. Vertex, h, k, k, h, k. So this is our h. Again, the h is the x coordinate. So you will look for the x. Okay, this one goes with k. h here is negative 2. k here is 3. Now, why do we know that the axis is horizontal? Because what gets squared is y. Obtain the value of a and the direction of the parabola. Okay, we need a. So that we can go to the focus, and from the focus, we can go to the lattice rectum. Okay, so let us do this one by one again. Students have uh, difficulty locating uh, or reading the vertex. Sometimes they ask me, why is the h negative 2 when what's written here is x plus 2? Again, our form for the equation is, look at this, x minus h. So the reason why this one becomes x plus 2 is because it's equal to x minus negative 2. h is negative 2, k is 3. That is our vertex. Okay, so by the way, why did I draw that? When your task is to sketch the graph, you always doodle, okay? You always doodle what you know. 
So you know that our parabola opens to the left. So somewhere in your paper, you just draw it. Our axis is horizontal. What is A? This is our equation. Let us factor out for A is negative 2. It is less than 0. Our parabola opens to the left. So we are now about to go to the focus. Let us locate our vertex, negative 2, 3. We shall now go to the focus. Its, its directed distance is negative 2 to the left or, or negative 2. So that would be 1, 2. And then from there, we shall now locate the endpoints of our lattice rectum from the vertex to the focus to the lattice rectum. The length of our lattice rectum or the focal width should be the absolute value of 4 times negative 2. That is 8. You have a lattice rectum here. The length of that should be 8. So what you do is you count 4. From here, you go 4. You go 4 units up. 1, 2, 3, 4. Can you guess the coordinates of that point? So the x coordinate, negative 4. The y coordinate is 7. How about here? You go 4 units down. 1, 2, 3, 4. So the x coordinate is negative 4. The y coordinate is negative 1. So we already have the endpoints of our lattice rectum. We can already trace the graph of our parabola that takes into consideration its focal width. You know what? We, we are not doing this. We, we do not do this in general math, but we are doing it here. Why? Because this is free calculus and you are into STEM. Let us sketch the graph of this one. No, no, wait. Uh, we are not yet done with that example. Because we seem to be forgetting the directrix. Baka kasi magtampo sa atin ang directrix, ha? Okay, so let us pay attention to the directrix. What is our directrix? It is a line. Our directrix is a line. A line has an equation. So what is the equation of our directrix? Okay, again, let's go back here. Vertex, focus. So, the distance of our focus from the vertex is negative 2. So, somewhere here to the other side would be your directrix. So, you will count. So, your, your uh, directrix is 2 units from the vertex but going to the right. So, you count 1, 2. And then from there, you draw a vertical line. Our vertex is at negative 2, 3. If you were to count 2 to the right, 1, 2, and you draw the vertical line, that vertical line has the equation. Look at that. X is equal to 0. You know what? Students have difficulty writing the equation for a vertical line. When your line is vertical, let's say, for example, vertical, and it crosses the x-axis at negative 1, what is the equation of that, of that line? Its x is equal to negative 1. So, in this case, because it intersects the x-axis at 0, its equation is x is equal to 0.